Hi, welcome to Dream Date Studio. I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on our new instrument, Gruy. Let's check it out. The first thing we should talk about is how to start and stop Gruy. To immediately hear the current sequence and sounds, you can simply mouse click the play button. This will run the sequence outside of the arrangement of your DAW and is great for auditioning sounds and sequences. When you're ready to start using it in your arrangement, you can either use your MIDI keyboard and the C0 key while your track is playing, or write in the MIDI information on a MIDI track. The same is then true for stopping. You can use the stop icon, your MIDI keyboard and the C sharp 0 key, or write in a MIDI note at C sharp 0. Gruy is designed to quantize its start point at beat 1 of a bar, so if you were to play the start key or write a MIDI note, it will automatically wait until the next beat 1 to begin playing. The sync option, located below the play and start icons, ties Gruy to the start command of your DAW. So, if you were to stop halfway through your arrangement and press start again, Gruy will automatically begin playing without requiring any MIDI notes to start its sequence. Gruy is made up of four voices that can be used with the included library or with your own sounds via drag and drop. The Gruy library is made up of a carefully selected group of sounds divided into six categories. Kick, snare, hi-hat, Percussion, plastics, and organics. For each sound, there are two versions, clean and slow. The slow version is the sound after it's been sent out to a Nagra 4S stereo quarter inch tape machine and recorded back into the computer at half speed. Once you've selected your sound, you have instant access to a range of simple to use but powerful sound shaping tools. The pitch of the sample can be changed up or down by as much as one octave. Volume can be turned up or down. The attack slider can change the start of the hit from being simply on to gradually fading in. While release can shorten the release time of the sample or let it play through to its natural end. Note as well that by looking at the info display in the right hand corner of the screen, you can see a numerical representation of your changes for being ultra specific. The pan knob allows you to position the sound left or right in the stereo field, while the random pan icon causes each hit to be placed at random on varying degrees of the left or right side of the stereo spectrum. Clicking the S icon to the right of the sample image allows you to solo that selected voice. Clicking the dice icon above the pitch ladder will randomly select a new sound creating some unexpected and sometimes very fun combinations that you may not have thought to try. Next, we have the drive knob, which adds a healthy amount of distortion and saturation to the sound. The low pass filter and resonance controls work extremely well together whereas the resonance knob can merge on self-oscillation. This can lead to some very creative ways to add tonal and harmonic information to static sounds.
Screwy Sequencer is designed to be an immediate way to make sequencing fun and organic, and that requires no menu diving. All parameters can be changed on a per voice level and are tied to the tempo of your DAW. The sequence subdivision can range from one beat per bar all the way up to 148. The amount of steps per sequence can also be adjusted from 16 steps down to one and anywhere in between. To create a note to be triggered by your sequence, simply click inside one of the circles. There are three velocity options available, soft, medium, and loud. By clicking and holding, then dragging your mouse up or down, you can change the selected velocity. Simply repeat throughout the steps that you've selected and your sequence is ready to go. Generate is one of our favorite sequence options in GUI. It allows for the easy creation of evolving sequences every bar with four different degrees of randomness. Generate is activated by clicking the on button and the amount of randomness is selected by clicking or dragging left to right on the leaf icons. One leaf selected will introduce subtle changes in the sequence with each colored leaf adding more randomness and complexity to the changes. To return to your original sequence at any time, just turn Generate off. While Generate is turned on, the lock icon can be utilized to hang on to a randomly created sequence until the time the lock is turned off again. We've thoughtfully mapped many of GUI's parameters to a MIDI keyboard in order to maximize your interaction with the controls and sound. Triggers for each voice are found on the keys C1 and C2 for voice 1, C sharp 1 and C sharp 2 for voice 2, D1 and D2 for voice 3, and D sharp 1 and D sharp 2 for voice 4. Solo buttons per voice are mapped to the keys C3 for voice 1, C sharp 3 for voice 2, D3 for voice 3, and D sharp 3 for voice 4. Generate on and off are mapped to F3 for voice 1, F sharp 3 for voice 2, G3 for voice 3, and G sharp 3 for voice 4. This allows for generate to be momentarily used for fills or occasional variations as your sequence plays. Using solo and generate together can allow for an intuitive and fun way to interact with your sequence. While GUI comes in salt with a carefully selected round-robin library of percussion found sounds, we've made each voice drag-and-drop enabled to allow for you to bring any sound of your choosing in. If one sample is loaded into the slot, the sample will play any time a note is triggered via the sequencer or keyboard. If multiple samples are loaded, GUI will take advantage of its round-robin design and randomly play a different sample each time. This can get especially interesting when working with melodic content or loops, which helps create new melodies quickly. You 
can drag in any type of wave file from one shops to full loops and let GUI sequencer and generate work together. The last area we'll explore is our effects section. We've created a custom effects chain that can be treated very much the same way a pedal board would be used. The signal from GUI flows from left to right with the knob acting as a wet and dry mix. To tweak the parameters of each effect, simply click on the title to enter the macros display. The effects are also movable by clicking the title of the effect and dragging either left or right to place your sound before or after the desired effect. Swapping effects is a fast and fun way to completely change the shape of your sound.